All right, guys, we are back with round three Edison format at Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got a Machina Mirror Match between Josh J on the left playing a standard Machina Ryko Hamster deck, or as I like to call it, Machina Turbo. And we got Ryan Knight on the right playing his signature Machina Frog deck. He went first. Open Substitute. Tribute Substitute, Special Summon, Swap Frog, and Sense Treeborn from his deck to his graveyard. Ryan won our last Edison tournament on the channel with Machina Frogs. After a long, like after many second places, six second places, he finally got that first win, got that monkey off his back. We'll see if he can go back to back. But right now, both these guys, I believe, are X1. This is four rounds of Swiss cut to top four. So loser is out. Winner still has a chance to make it. Josh starts off by upstarting and then no more summoning gear frame attacking Ryan for 18. Josh, I believe, is an upstart and, and like yadas and jars, which I like. I like when people incorporate both. Okay, 72, 8,000. So from, what, from my, what my friends have told me is that Fro uh, Machina, I think, has a bad frog matchup. Just because it's Machina is really similar to Bayou. Because the, they play like Hamster, Rikos. The difference is you play like Pot of Avarice instead of like Burial, Return, and Dark Arm. But you also have Machina Fortress. Like Gearframe kind of re replaces Greffer. And Armageddon Knight. All right, so here Ryan sets two, which is not too common in frogs. He bounced back his Treeborn and left the swap on the field. So a lot of times when they do this, they have a Regeki Breaker or Wing Blast down there. So pretty good here for Josh. Like if Ryan has Mirror Force, I'm you know Gearframe already got me a card, and Car Trooper's gonna draw me another one. So he attacks him for twenty, what twenty seven? Sets a third back row. Yeah, it's looking pretty good for Josh. He's got gear frame, car trooper, middle plague spreader, three back rows. End phase, there's the wing blast. Targets a new back row, discards treeborn, passes, and what's his other back row? See, I hate whenever, like, when I play frogs and I draw two discard traps. Oh, he used the last. Okay, so now he got rid of all of Josh's back rows. And Josh chain compulsed to put the gear frame back in his hand. Oh, he I think he thought he thought uh Ryan had Caius, but no, he has Fortress. Attacks over car troops so over 59 to 45. Passes. So these two are obviously regulars on the channel. They've both been in the finals multiple times. Josh has four wins. Ryan Knight's got what? Five? Yes, five. Ryan has one with Hero Frogs, Machina Frogs now, and Black Wings. While Josh has one with what? Hero Beat, Bayou, and I forgot what he got what he got the other one with. So here, what happened was he special summoned Fortress, equipped the gear frame to the fortress, crashed the fortress, then Ryan used Fortress's effect to target Josh's fortress. So Josh was able to look at his hand. And he chose Regeki Break instead of Econ. I don't know. I don't like that that one. I probably would have went with the Econ. Because, like, Ryan has what? Like, that would have been his only card in his hand. And then I feel like in this scenario, Ryan's, like, down on cards. So the Econ is more likely to steal him a game. That's why I think, I like, right now he would have, he would have Regeki Break instead of that Econ. So yeah, I, pro I probably would have um, got rid of the Econ there instead of the Regeki Break. <clears throat> we'll see if it comes back to bite Josh. I think he's still up on card, so he should be fine. So here comes Gear... Oh, man, nice draws back-to-back -back from Ryan. First Ryza, then Gear Frame? Man, I didn't even know he was on Ryza. Most of the time, Ryan doesn't play Ryza. He's probably on one. My guess is he runs three Caius, one Ryza. Probably, probably was like I need to draw more monarchs. But then this is good for Josh. He had he had a, a hamster set. All right, so Ryan's got double enemy controller, Machina Fortress. If Josh can get some offense going, like just but yeah, he doesn't have. I think his hands his hands kind of bad. It's double right. No, it's Ryko Force. Is it Force? If it is Force, then he's in an okay spot. So Ryko pop the gear frame. Mills Caius, gear frame, and Lila. Tributes. Oh, he's gonna Caius the 
the Treeborn. He has another one in there, but at least I think Josh is just trying to end the game. Yeah, probably switch the the hamster to attack mode and then just do third. Leave him at a thousand. But he didn't attack. Oh, okay. I see why he did this. Now he goes trap, dust, shoot. Econ, econ, force, fortress. Okay, so Josh played it safe here, which I don't blame him. See, sometimes. Sometimes you get punished for this. Like, ah, man, I, that, that's a tough one. I think I probably would have done the same thing. Uh, I remember I remember a similar situation happened to me one time where I had Dust Shoot, and it ended up costing me the game because I, I played it safe and didn't attack him, and he didn't have the gores. And then what's funny is I Dust Shoot him. He didn't have the gores. Then the next turn, he drew the gores after I Dust Shoot him, and I was like, and I lost. But... That's just really unlucky what happened there. All right. So he econs just to stay alive. Just to like, I'm going to take your fortress. I'm going to stay alive. No, you can't do that. There's no way. Yeah, Ryan's reading it. No, you have to equip it to your own. So this buys. Now he just takes it. Okay. So 59.45. It's funny, like, my when I see stuff that kind of similar to something that's happened to me in the past, I always remember, especially when I lose. Like, if I lose in a, like, crazy way, I always remember it. And, like, that trap, what happened with Josh right now with that dust shoot. Because he could have hit him and left he left Ryan at 1,000. But he played it safe. Play around Gores. But you knew two of Ryan's cards. You knew he had a Fortress and you knew he had a uh, Econ. All right, so here, Ryan Econs takes the fortress. He's probably going to tribute some of his fortress, but you attack first. But who do you hit over? Hit over Caius? Yes, Caius. I think Caius was the right move because he has Plague Spreader in the graveyard. So you tribute so much for fortress, sets an Econ. So now this is an interesting scenario. Josh has, what, three cards in his hand. He's got Plague. Now, he doesn't know Ryan's back row. So he top decks for Plague. Synchros for six. He could have made an eight as well by normal summoning a Raikou, but what eight do you make? He goes for Brio. Now, Ryan's back row is actually a dead trap dust shoot. So you probably, and you probably think it's a Regeki break that's dead, that Ryan set, or a Mirror Force. Yeah, Ryan had no cards in his hand. I don't know. Do you bounce the, the fortress and then make his Regeki break live? Now, we, the audience, know it's trapped, does shoot. But Josh doesn't know that. Josh probably thinks he set a Regeki break or a Mirror Force or a Torrential or something like that. What would I have done here? I'm, I'm trying to think. as like on my feet, but it's hard. He had Plague. He had Raiko. Did he have Machine of Force? Is his last card Machine of Force? Oh no, he could have he could have made Stardust. Okay. I guess this let's say he goes Stardust, right? He normal summons Raiko. He had three he had three cards in his hand, right? Top for plague, that leaves him with two. Normal summon Raiko, that leaves him with one. No, no, sorry, he yeah, yeah, that leaves him with one. And then Synchro with the Raiko, the Plague. And the last card, Pitcher for Fortress, he goes Stardust. Heck, he can equip his... Yes, then he can just attack with Fortress. Equip the gear frame to the Fortress. And then the gate was... Yeah, he would have Stardust. He would have Stardust and Fortress on the field right now. Now, Ryan would have still had the, the soft lock. so... Okay, this is interesting. I think that was the correct play to go for Stardust. Let me know if I miss anything, because I'm not always perfect. You know, I'm thinking at on the fly while I'm commentating. So there's I make mistakes all the time, but just maybe there's something I missed, but this is just me thinking at the moment. Put now so now he right goes. Uh the sub. Do you go for the dupe? Do you go for the dupe there? 
Yeah, because you want the dupe to miss timing, right? Now, now this game is looking bad for Josh. But he did the hop deck Avarice. That's some good news for him. But man, that was crazy. Josh was, Josh was winning. But to be fair, Ryan did have some insane draws. Like, but I'm telling you that econ early in the game. When Ryan had nothing, I think he, he should have gone for the, the the econ there with the fortress effect. Left Ryan with a regeki break, and if he does use the regeki break, it's cool. Because the enemy controller kind of brought him back in the game, the double econ. It, it kept him alive for one turn by taking Josh's fortress. And then he used the second enemy controller to tribute for the the fortress. He wouldn't have been able to do that. So that's why maybe it would have changed some some things here and there because then he regeki breaks, but you, he uses two cards. It's okay. We all make mistakes, but that's how we learn. No, I, I'm 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 harsh on myself too when I make mistakes when I'm on ca on camera. Like, I know it's like okay, here I messed up. It's actually easier for me to see a misplay on myself because I sometimes I don't know what they're thinking, but I know you know obviously I'm watching myself. I know exactly what I'm thinking, and I'm like okay, yeah, I messed up here. All right, so Kai is the fortress, and then Josh uses fortress effect to hit Josh's dead trap. Does shoot? Okay, the Josh has gores, so he took thirty four. Bounces Caius. Josh sets a monster, sets a back row, and passes. So he's probably going to get Caius again. Now, what will Josh... Yeah, this is this is just... They Caius you every turn. This is not fun. <laughs> this is what... When they get you like this, Dupe Frog, Substitute, it's worse when they Rise at you because you get Ryza locked. They'll have Dupe Lock, Swap on the field. Ryza, Ryza at you every turn you can, and poke you for 24. And meanwhile, they're just drawing for their turn every every turn. All right, so he brings back tree more. So we're twenty four to fifty five. Um, Tribute for Caius. Josh has the solemn. Okay, that might buy him some time. If that's a Ryko, he can maybe pop one of the dupe frogs. Oh no, it's hamster. That's unfortunate. If only that was Ryko. But Josh is at twelve now. So even if, like, let's say he Ryko's him, he's still really low. So maybe flipping that Ryko wouldn't even have helped him. Now Josh sets two monsters. Yeah, well, I don't know what the heck. Josh, what are you doing, man? I know Josh watches a lot of the videos, especially when he's on. He definitely watches those. <laughs> Almost everyone watches their own videos. <laughs> That's one thing that I think I think is funny. Okay, so he synchros for armory arm, and this is game. He's going to attack. Yep. Swap far goes to 2,000. So he takes 900, and then he burns him for 11. Yeah, Josh is upset. I think maybe Josh still loses, even if he had done the play I said with the Stardust. But I think what really, really cost him the game was not sending that Econ instead of the Regeki break. I think Josh wins had he done that. It's just a little small, small mistake that co costs you games at times. All right, so Josh goes first, set, summons gear frame, sets two, and passes. Here comes Ryanite, open gear frame as well. Okay, so he normal summons gear frame. Come on, pulling the rug. Nope. <laughs> pulling the rug is so good against Ryan's deck. <laughs> if I play Ryan, I'm throwing all three of them in there. <laughs> He plays three gear frame, three Caius, Ryza. You can even pull in the rug, swap frog. All right, here comes Lila. Here comes Lila. Josh hits Mills, Avarice, Solemn, and Cyber Dragon. Another gear frame. My gosh. When I played this thing, I couldn't draw that card. It saved my life, man. I was playing triple upstart, triple reckless greed. I was like, I want to see gear frame, and I couldn't draw it. All right, so he attacks over Lila for 100. Maybe Josh has a pot of average he's trying to make live. That's why he normal summon Lila turn one. And end phase, MST, Ryan's MST. So I think it's okay to keep MST in against frogs, but I'm pretty sure 
Josh cited out Heavy Storm. Almost everyone does. So he pitches Car Trooper and Fortress. Okay, I like this play. So I've talked about this in previous videos. Like, I feel Dinah against Frogs is really good if you can put another big monster next to it, like Josh did here. Dinah and Fortress. Versus Dinah by itself, a lot of the times the Frog players can just sit behind Duke Frog or Substitute. It's unfortunate, here, unfortunate for Josh here that Ryan had the out. Soul Exchange and Caius. Well, at least Josh has Pot of Avarice now. What's funny is, Josh beat me. We There was a big tournament we had like almost a year ago in Oklahoma. Josh got second place. I ended up getting third. And Josh beat me in top four. And he did this, He did a similar thing to me where like he just went, uh, my hand was bad. I just set Duke Frog and passed. And he goes, special Cyber Dragon. He's playing Hero Beat. Normal summon Dinah, and I just couldn't out it. But had, had he had Dinah by itself, or alias Dinah, I, I probably could have survived a few turns. But he just kept... Then, like, next turn, he summoned alias and just beat me down for 31, and I lost really quick. Anyways, it looks like Josh compulsed his monster. He's going to hit him for 34 here. Oh, it's a Raikou. Oh, yeah, you're you're just getting you're just getting Caius every turn if you can't do anything. Oh, no, he soul exchanged him. Josh is on tilt. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just... I, I, I like seeing people get on tilt. I just think it's funny. Because I I don't normally get, get on tilt when I play Yu-Gi-Oh! But a lot of people do. People hate to lose. I get it. I don't like losing either, but I don't, I don't go on tilt, though. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Usually it's like if I get unlucky, I'm like, oh my god, this guy got so lucky. Or if I misplay, I'm like, I get now that I start kicking myself. I'm like, oh man, I messed up. What if I would have done this? I maybe I would have won. <clears throat> All right, so Ryan's going off. Yeah, you can tell Josh is like this. He's like got his head. <laughs> so we had a a few weeks ago. We had like a 36 man hat tournament. It was the biggest time with the tournament we ever had at our local. And they took a picture of, like, everyone in the room. And I was playing against Josh, and he was doing the same thing. And we were in game three, and I was just destroying him. I, I was cooking him. I, I was playing Sylvan's. I was like, you know, I soul charged him, and he was doing the same thing. There's a picture. I'm not going to share it, though. Josh might get mad. <laughs> All right. So Josh is deprisons both the swap frogs. Yeah, Ryan's got a bunch of cards in his hand. Josh has got two. Yeah, this is not looking good for... Our boy Josh. Ryan bounces back. Extra normal summons dupe. He's got like Raikos. He's got Raiko, Didi Crow in hand. And uh, that's all we know. Caius. Okay, his hand is Raiko, Caius, Didi Crow. So he's probably going to get Caius here again. Because we know we know Ryan bounced it back to his hand, right? Yeah, just Caius him already. <laughs> I think he has two Treeborn, so there's no point to uh, Crow. So yeah, he Caius's the Treeborn. Sorry, Caius is the, uh, the Raikou. Hits him with both. So leaves Josh at 3,000. Sets one. Josh draws. Yeah, so I don't like Didi Crow. Okay, Josh should have probably sided this card out. I think, yeah, you, you side that card out against, against Frogs. <laughs> The Josh rant. <laughs> I wonder what he's complaining about. <laughs> okay, so he summons Car Trooper, Mills, Mills 3, and concedes. That is game. So 2 0 from Ryan. Ryan still has a chance to make top four. Trying to go back to back with Machina Frogs. Josh is out. Hope you guys enjoyed that match, and yeah, we'll be back soon for some more Edison and hat videos. Bye, guys.